let's take a look at um, this example over here on how to find the exact and approximate answers. Um, so I've already gone ahead and taken a screenshot of that same example over here. So let's talk about the exact perimeter. So obviously, uh, when we're talking about exact answers, you actually do not evaluate the value of pi. We leave pi as it is. We're not going to convert it to 3.14. So now when we're talking about the perimeter of this um, figure, you know, of course, we're talking about this entire side here, this side, this one, this little section here, and then, of course, the circumference of our two um, semicircles. We're obviously not going to be doing the... Um, inside distances. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so for the longer side coming from our rectangle, um, which will be this edge over here, of course, is coming out to be 14 inches. So we're gonna take that. You have five inches from here. We're going to go ahead and include that. This distance over here is also going to be five inches uh, since it's the other side of your rectangle, so that's gonna be five inches. Now, when we get to the square, you can see this distance here is going to be four inches, so we include that. Now, we have to calculate what this side is going to be. So you know this is coming from the rectangle. Let's change the color on that. So we know this entire distance is going to be 14 inches. However, since this section over here is part of the square, we know this distance is going to be four inches, which means your remaining side over here on the rectangle is going to be 14 minus four, um, you know, subtracting that part of the square. So 14 minus four will of course end up giving us 10 inches. So that's the 10 inches we're going to add over here. So now we've got all of these sides taken care of. The remaining part is going to come from the circumference. Now, uh, remember for the circle, the circumference is when you're giving the diameter, you can do pi times d. Now, obviously think about if we put these two semicircles together, they would actually end up making one entire circle. So you can go ahead and calculate the circumference of the entire circle, which will then of course come out to be a diameter of four inches. So that's going to be four times pi. So what you end up doing here is basically adding the 14, five, five, four, and 10 inches together. And these are you know, all the numbers that don't have pi as part of it. So we'll go ahead and add these guys together. So let's see, that'll be 14. Uh, and then I'm adding four, which will make it 28, 38, 48. So 48 inches coming from that, and then four pi coming from our circumference of the circle. So 48 plus four pi is what we are looking at right now. Okay, I just caught my mistake because I knew I was doing something wrong. So let me show you what I did. I calculated this total incorrectly. Um, that's what happens when I'm trying to go too fast. All right, guys, so I'm adding 14 plus four, which is not 28, it's actually 18. So 14 plus four is going to be 18, 18 plus 10, is 28, 28, and then five plus five is another 10. So 28 plus 10 is going to be 38 inches. And then of course, from the circumference of the circle, we are also getting four pi inches. So this is what you do for your exact answer. You leave it as 38 plus four pi, and this will of course be in inches. And this becomes your exact perimeter for the um, um, perimeter, I guess, for the entire shape of this figure. Okay, so let's go ahead and type this in. So this is going to be 38 plus four, and you can find the pi over here. And we're gonna go ahead and submit this answer. And you can see that came out to be correct. Now, when you are trying to calculate the approximate answer, this is where you are going to take your pi and replace it with the 3.14 approximation, which is given to us right over here. And you know, just throw this into your calculator. So I'm gonna go ahead and open our calculator here. We've got 38 
plus four times 3.14, and you will see this comes out to be 50.56. Um, and this will also again be in inches. So we can go ahead and check that answer and you will see this comes out to be correct. So that's basically the difference when you are doing the approximate and the exact answer is in the exact one, you leave the pi as it is. So that will stay as 38 plus 4 pi. But then when you do the approximate, you actually go ahead and replace the pi with 3.14 and do the math, you know, calculate that answer. And you can see that comes out to be. So you're going to follow the same idea with the area um, of the exact and the approximate. So let's take a look at that next. Okay, so we are talking about finding the exact area for this. So this one, you will definitely need to think about what is the area of the rectangle? What is the area of the square? And then again, since the two semicircles put together will make one single circle, you know, we'll go ahead and calculate the area for one circle. So let's start with the rectangle. So for the rectangle, your area is length times width, which of course, in this case, our length is 14 inches width is um, five inches. So we'll go ahead and do 14 times five, which will of course end up giving us the area as 70. Uh, and remember this will be in square inches. Then we can do the area of the square, which square of course is side times side. Uh, and in this case, our side was four inches. So four times four, which will of course end up giving us four fours are 16. So this will be 16 square inches. Now let's get down to the circle. So now in the circle, and you can see I've put the area formula for the circle up here on the top, that's going to be area equals pi r squared. So since we're finding the exact area, we're going to leave pi as it is. Now you can see the diameter of our circle is going to be um, four inches. So if the diameter is going to be four, you know, for the radius, uh, you go ahead and divide your diameter by two, basically take its half. So your radius will come out to be two inches. So we're going to do two squared. Uh, and as you can imagine, this will come out to be area equals, again, we're leaving the pi as it is. Uh, two times two will be four. So this will come out to be four pi, and this will again be in square inches. So then for your exact area, all you do is add up all three figures together. So taking the area of the rectangle, which was 70, area of the square, which was 16, and then area of the circle, which was four pi. So that would end up becoming uh, 70 plus 16, which is of course 86 plus four pi. And then remember this will be in square inches and this should be our exact answer. So let's go ahead and plug this uh, into our answer here. So exact was 86 plus four and then pi from here, we're gonna submit that. And you can see that comes out to be correct. And then just like we did before, for the approximate answer, we will do 86 plus four times 3.14. And let's see what that comes out to be. So 86 plus four times 3.14. And you can see this guy's coming out to be 98.56. Uh, and of course, this is also going to be in square inches. So let's go ahead and put that in here. So what did we have? 98.56. And let's check that and you will see. Uh, so the difference between the exact and the approximate is really the main thing you wanna watch out for. Leave the pi as it is. And once you find the exact answer, then finding the approximate is just replacing the pi with 3.14 and coming up with your calculation. So this will be your uh, breakdown for uh, this example over here, which happens to be example number 13 um, in the homework for uh, perimeter and area.
All right, guys, good luck with this problem. Take care.